Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 178. When we were talking about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in the last several Excel videos, I said, you know, towards the end, that there's some limitations to them. And one of the limitations is if this is my list of data and you want to look up based on initials and go back in the column, you can't do that with VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP wants you to start with what you're looking up in the far left column and then go this way. If your data comes out of your practice management system this way, you either have to take the data and copy and move some stuff over here and create dummy columns and temporary stuff to make it work, or you can learn how to use two more functions in Excel called index and match. Let me show you how it works together and then we'll take it apart and show you a step at a time. I've got a physician here with the initials RJA, it happens to be Ross Abbott and I want to know Dr. Abbott's NPI and the problem with VLOOKUP is the NPI is over here in column 2 and the initials for Dr. Abbott are over here in column 4. What I can do is I can type the initials in here and look up the NPI and I can type in somebody else's initials somebody else's initials and it just keeps finding them for me and the reason is I have a, a formula in here with index and match and what index and match will let you do is do more powerful lookups because you're not limited to VLOOKUP having to be all the way in the left. You can't say VLOOKUP, look up what I'm looking for in this table and then go back three columns. It always has to be a positive number for VLOOKUP to work. So we're going to use index and match instead and what I want to talk about just for a minute is the way index works first and that's this area up here. So what index does, here is the formula and when you come in, there are two different ways to use it, as an array or as a reference. We're always going to do it as a reference, so we'll click reference and click OK. What index says is, in this range of data, I want to know what's in this row number and this column number, and tell me what's there, and it'll tell me the NPI there. You can also do an area number. We'll talk about areas later on. But what it's saying is, for this reference that goes from A4 to E14, just tell me what's in row 6, column 2. See how I have I'm F5 is referencing that, that row, G5 is referencing that column. So it's going to tell me what's in row 6. So I'm going to start here and go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then over 2. And Oops, excuse me, that's 1, that's 2, there we go. And there's the 691702 that's my dummy NPI for Dr. Abbott. If you wanted to know what's in row 4, column 2, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, column 2, and there's the NPI. If you wanted to know the doctor's initials there, well, that's in column 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's the index. So all index is doing is, in this range, this row, this column, tell me what's there. That's what I wanted to show you today. What we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the index function with this match function that we'll talk about next time. And when we put the two together, Match is going to help us answer these, this question, this question, or both. Stay tuned. We'll keep going. Thanks for watching.